Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to September 15th of 2022. Today is Thursday, and imagine, just like the last few days, it's 57 degrees out here right now. Very, very comfortable. I just, I don't know what you guys are at, but if you haven't felt this, it's very, very peaceful. But all the colors I can see, the the non evergreens out there are starting to, to change in the mountains back there. And oh my, everything's changing fast. Leaves are falling, turning colors. I hope it's a long, beautiful fall. So the weather in Vancouver today is mostly cloudy and 63 degrees. Yes, thank you, weather and the bars. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But mama? Yes, I have. We made it Thursday, right? Yeah, yeah. Thursday. Thursday. Two more, two more. Today and tomorrow. We got yeah. a weekend. Well, Mama, let's go bust out this Thursday. All right, sounds good. All right. Fine. Have a wonderful day. You too. Love you. See you. Bye. Love you. Bye bye now. Bye. So, this is a uh, 2015 RTS. And um, about 23,000 miles, roughly. Um, I've known this gal. She's had, had it since new. And um, she was on a ride, and she says the steering became really, really stiff. So um, it's, it was not my job, not assigned to me, but uh, I took it for a quick ride around the block, and, I mean, the thing's, the alignment is a mile off. So we did an alignment on this thing years ago. I see no signs that anything's been hit or damaged. It's weird that the steering is or the alignment is that far off. I mean, you have to fight it. It it wants to turn right the whole time you're riding it. So I see no damage, nowhere, nothing's tweaked. I mean, no dings in the wheels, no scratches in the wheels, no nothing on the tires indicating anything was hit or bumped. I mean, the thing is flawless. But uh, so anyway, uh, there we're doing an alignment on it because we need to get the alignment straight you know the steering does seem stiff but the alignment can be off enough well it was upstairs you know in the other area and um so i bring the thing down i'm like man that is crazy stiff so with it sitting here i've got it jacked up off the ground goes back and forth perfectly smooth if i fire it up and get the dps running the dps fights me it's actually working against me there's a service advisor. I got to explain this to him. Got the O2 sensor in for the Sportster. It's pretty cool. But anyway, poor gal's going to need a DPS. That's really weird. I have never. I was just talking to the tech that was working on this thing. He goes, you know, the first time I rode it, it felt really stiff. He goes, and then, uh, you know, I just rode it through the park and I didn't have a helmet or anything on. So... He goes, a couple hours later, I was finishing up on something else, put my helmet on, take it for a ride, I go down SR500 out here. And he goes, the thing felt fine. The alignment was janky. I knew it needed alignment, and the tires are wearing funny. And uh, anyway, um, he comes back, and the service advisor goes, hey, can you ride this spider? It, it feels tells me the story about it. And then I realize I know this gal. I've known her for years. I mean, yeah, way back. 2010 2011 somewhere in there but uh anyway so i realized who it is i go well heck i'll take it for a ride and i think i took you guys i don't know i might have did too many recordings and kicked it out or something but yeah other than definitely feeling like it needs an alignment um and tires when the tires wear funny then they handle funny too so when I wrote, I grabbed it to bring it down here to do the alignment, to do that first so he can do the tires and belt later. Today, when he gets to that, I fire the thing up in the back lot and I come down the, the hill and it feels like I'm driving a an old 77 Chevy pickup truck with the power steering out in it. I'm like, whoa, something's way wrong. Oh, yeah, it's the DPS. It's weird that without the DPS running and it's just sitting here. Steers smooth and fine. There's one notch if you go slow and steady on it. Um, and you fire it up and the DPS is active, it literally fights you. 
I mean, it literally just at one point just stops and then follows through like I just felt that bump. Yeah. Yeah, you can even see the lack of smoothness in it. And I have the steering stem. I've looked at everything. Everything's loose, smooth, and functioning. DPS. I forget sometimes. You're in a dealership. You're talking acronyms. DPS, Dynamic Power Steering. It's electronic steering box. New O2 sensor installed. Cleared the code. She's ready for a new home. Super nice. Guy that's uh, that's buying this. And what's cool is he follows the vlogs. And what's better than that, man? Get yourself a... <laughs> Essentially a brand new Sportster. You could tell it was running funky with that front O2 sensor. They'll uh, default to a uh, to a rich mode when it doesn't see a sensor like that. And you could tell when it first started up, <laughs> she was a. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what to think of uh, suddenly having an O2 sensor that's uh, functioning as it should. <laughs> Whoa, wait till I get past there, buddy. That delivery guy says, I'm going to get you, Smoke. I was going to get you. Oh, yeah, look at that parking lot. Remember I was telling you guys about that yet? Oh. I gotta wait the full way too. I was telling you about that you were uh, working on it yesterday. Oh heck yeah. Yeah. She's all shiny and new. But yeah. I love this thing. Every time I ride this thing I'm like dang I really like it. I'm not big into the mid bars and stuff on it. But I, I don't think I would literally touch anything on this thing. It'd be just like my slim and everything else. Just ride it. That's the way Harley built it. That's the way I'm going to leave it. It's got the walnut tank on there. So it's, a, it's the same size as my, my iron. The uh, last two 1200s I had <laughs> were the peanut tanks. What are the things you, you had to uh, pay attention to mileage. But there's something uh, challenging and cool about that. I don't, I don't know why. I really like that. <laughs> All the gas stops just going to work. <laughs> it's cool though. Uh, couldn't let go of the clutch to wave at you, buddy. Hope you realize my... No Ooh, what's the temperature out here? It's got a bite to it. Look at this thing. What a beauty. These 1200s. They're taller gearing. It's the perfect. Like I've said, a, I don't know how many times, is uh, if you had the first gear, of the, it, it's just the ratio in the, uh, um, for the, in the primary. It's the only difference. Same transmissions, of course, bigger jugs different but anyway you, uh, if it could be a six speed thinking about five things at once here six speed and have one through five out of the iron or the 883 iron and then like a fifth gear with whatever ratio this works out to be these 1200s man you can they are just like comfortably floating along at 75 80 miles an hour the uh three 1200s i had prior um yeah great down the freeway <laughs> wonderful but first gear it doesn't really bother me that much but if you're getting some stop and go stuff where you're like step 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 you're just nudging and then <laughs> Gonna run your dog over, boy. Okay, had a panic look like, oh no.
Oh, look at those trees already turning colors. I haven't driven to. Oh, let's, let's just loop down here right quick. And psych on the turns. Oh, the thing was turning off as I pushed the button to turn it off. You guys ever do that with your Harleys? Well, it's stuck on, so you hit the button. Well, it was just turning off the second you hit the button. So you just turned it right back on again. <laughs> those trees are always beautiful. Man, wasn't it just a few months ago we were looking at these things turning red? Then you come back through and like, oh no, it's all gone. Gotta wait till next year. <laughs> Over the years I've been driving out here, look how big those trees have gotten. They they were probably like 10 feet tall maybe when I first started recording coming through here. Look at them things. They're like full-fledged trees out there now. Yeah, the 1200s. Definitely feel that, def that additional torque. If you put, you know, you can order this kit and put it on the iron. And um, it's a 40% it's a increase in power. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a substantial jump for, uh, I don't know what they cost now. When I was first looking at them, it was, I don't know, 1,000, 1,100 bucks or something for the kit. Comes with everything you need. You just need to have you know uh well i have the super tuner pro for my iron so you can i mean i can still adjust it even though they can't legally sell those anymore you know i have it i'm kind of fathered into it but if i was to do that to my iron it wouldn't be my iron anymore i would literally just seek out one of these if i won the 1200 That 1200 low I had had that four and a half gallon tank. That one that's kind of oddly wide and kind of flat. Good lord, that thing went forever on the tank. <laughs> that lovely little shake when the idle. Isn't that nice? You guys even detect that? Look at that old Mercury. Mercury, the Grand Marquis. There's about 15 Honda cars in that one automobile. <laughs> they used real iron in them things back then. Let's loop her down the back alley. I was just gonna make this super short. But this one's got the same tires. In fact, that's where I got the idea for the tires for my iron. I like these. I didn't put these on the the other tech did I like these so much I did some research on them and went yep that's the ones I'm gonna get good old Metzlers speaking of the camera I've not known if it was recorded that's my own fault I have it set the time out after a while to help save battery but the uh, my hero 11 black GoPro will be here on Monday. Looking forward to the all new camera. Like he's so busy, he don't even know I'm going by. He's a working man. <laughs> so I don't know if I've seen the salesman that's selling this up there today, but I'll bring it up to them. Let them decide what to do with it. Call the customer. I think he's already paid for it and everything. And really nice guy. Gotta love that. So something got spilt out here on the road. I don't know what from. But I'm afraid it might be oil or something. Dude, that looks like oil. Whatever it is, it, it's not going to be good for a motorcycle. Let's see if we can get one of the guys to go out there and throw some speedy dry on the ground or something. And we'll 
most people riding motorcycles are smart enough to spot that and avoid it like immediately but someone come flying through there distracted may have a problem something super smooth and fancy and whistles along just move on well it shakes a little bit I don't know if I like that go away trust me you don't deserve it <laughs> you know it never gets traded in it seems like other than the Harley shop because they're buying a bigger bike because they're riding two up and they want to take longer trips and then fell in love with Harleys and I need the next one up. But you never see sportsers get traded in. We have a lot of them here but we buy them at auction and we don't, you never know the backstory of why it's there. Did it get repoed? You know, what's the deal? Bye, little sportster. I've been missing you sitting down in my little area. Let's see if I can find the salesman here and let him know his home is ready to go home. Hmm, so it stands right where my iron is, too. Love you, old gal. Thanks for coming along for the rip. Well, hello there, you two. Trip home was safe and sound, although it's all cloudy out here. Noticeably cloudy. It was very cloudy. Yeah, but very comfortable. Mm hmm. Not too many crazy people. There was hardly any today. Yeah. That sportster. Can't wait till that thing ends up with a new home. Hope there's enough of the season left for him to get out there and enjoy that thing. Yeah. That thing's nice. That's a nice sportster. She uh she gonna go to happy home, cool bike to a cool person. That's nice. nice. I'm I'm assuming he's a cool guy, super nice for the short period I got to meet him. I'm sure I'll be seeing them pretty soon when they come to roll that thing out. Very Patience cool. of a saint, man. It took forever to get the parts for that oh, thing. Man. And it was once the O2 sensor we realized that was the problem. That's well, I think when he bought it, and I go, well, wait, we need a part. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it took a while. Us not being a Harley dealer, it makes it a little tricky having to deal with people so far away, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think on that, we're going to bounce out on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Thank you. All right. We'll see you in the morning. Friday, we'll see you. Yes. Friday morning. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. <laughs>